Hey, what is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today people I'll be teaching you guys the best class setup for the MX-9 SMG here in Black Ops 4. But before we get into that topic, hopefully you guys can check out my other gameplays where I did manage to go 66 kills and 22 deaths and the other one I did manage to go 31 kills and 1 death with the MX-9. Quite amazing gameplays, go check them out. I did pull off some crazy plays in it with the MX-9 and also during the live streams, I am going to be using the MX-9. You know, I'll be dominating out, that will be wrecking. I'm telling you, this weapon is pretty much well-rounded when it comes down to short-range combat and to medium-range combat. Now, I do got a one negative thing to say about this weapon. It is so bad from long-range. Like, no matter what you do to it, no matter how you modify it for long-range combat, this weapon doesn't do the damage. For some odd reason, the damage does drop out way too much that you barely make any kind of points like less than 15 points of damage so it, it's weird i know that but that's how this smg works and I already tested out fully this weapon does drop a lot of damage when it comes down to like long range combat so stay away from long range combat stay away from like way too open areas Keep it from, uh, you know, keep it from uh, a close range quarters combat and you'll be just doing just fine with a combination of a perk that I'll explain to you guys later on in the video. So uh, now moving on to the attachments first, I'll be talking about the optics. Now the optic, I do personally have the ELO sight, which allows me to give me more of a clear sight when it comes down to aiming down sights. Now you can personally use whatever you want. You guys can use the hollow sight or the reflex sight, but I personally use the ELO because it does, it does give me, you know, that extra, you know, space to look around. That's how I feel comfortable with the side. You guys can use whatever you want, but I personally use the ELO. Uh, moving on to the next attachment, which is the long barrel. The long barrel actually provides you, you know, with that extra damage when it comes down to medium range combat. You see, from short range combat with this weapon, it does pretty much well. It does keep up with the, some of the weapons out there, but not with the with a SOG or with a Spitfire or with some of the shotguns but when it comes down to, against assault rifles this weapon kinda counters it perfectly so with the long barrel it should be able to keep some of the damage and with the combination with the other attachment that I do have right there which is called the rapid fire it makes the bullets travel even faster so with a combination of distance and speed you should be able to take out the enemy with no problem when it comes down to those kind of distances medium range combat and short range combat this is why I said you know is well rounded when it comes down to like small maps and medium sized maps because when it comes down to tight, tight quarters this weapon should be able to keep up with no problem and now with this secret you know with this combination of a perk with these attachments if you guys look over to the perk number two perk number two is called gung ho this perk is kind of weird it shouldn't even work like this but for some reason this game has it like this and it's the first time that I actually experienced this perk like this you see the gung ho perk has been over like for like since Call of Duty Ghost and I've used it before and it doesn't work like this. For some reason it does it though. This gun hole perk allows you to fire your weapon and use equipment while sprinting, recover it from sprint faster, move at full speed while reloading. The thing is, uh, when you fire, when you hip fire your gun, it gives you an extra boost forward. So with the combination of a rapid fire, long barrel, and the gun hole, it actually makes your bullets travel faster forward compared to your enemy so you should be able to take out your enemy like in an instant you should be able to beat your enemies from medium range combat like, like immediately no matter if they aim at you first you should be able to take them out quickly so with that triple combination it's a deadly combination right there it's so deadly and once you try it out you'll see for yourself how well this combination works so try it out right now and you'll see that little extra boost that it gives you forward like it launches you forward and it's super weird i know but it launches you forward and those bullets are going to be traveling way faster than you think so hit firing from this weapon becomes kind of like a godly move so go check it out and you'll see the difference of your weapons now when you add the gun hole perk uh, now another thing that i do have is the equipment charge i mean I, you can use whatever you want on gear it's up to you really you know on the gear uh, equipment i mean it's really what, however you feel comfortable. You can use whatever special issue to. I mean, you can use grenades or molotovs. I mean, it's really up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable. Um, I do have perk number one, a scavenger, due to the fact that it is an SMG. Um, if you if it, when it comes down to too many long range combat, I mean, you lose a lot of bullets. So you gotta refuel that that gun. You know, no matter what you do, you gotta refuel it. That's why I have scavenger on. Uh, the next perk I want to talk about in perk number three. Is called the ghost and the dead silence this game for some odd reason the footsteps are way louder than the previous call of duties I've never used dead silence before 
and I never had an issue with footsteps until this game. So I have literally on all my classes, I have Dead Silence. You gotta have it. I don't care who you are, I don't care how professional you are, you gotta have Dead Silence because everybody right now owns a good headset and they can hear you from a mile away. Even without a headset, I can still hear your footsteps like from a mile away and I'm not, I'm not even using an expensive TV or nothing. So it's pretty weird how this game plays out. So I do have Dead Silence and the Ghost Perk. You can change out the Ghost Perk if you want, but I personally use all this. So that is it, guys. That's my best class setup for the MX-9 SMG. If you guys got any questions, you know, leave it in the comment section. Um, my next class setup will probably be working with the Rampart. I did find something weird with it. Uh, that assault rifle can actually kill enemies within like four bullets. So I'm still working on some assault rifles and you'll see it pretty soon next week. So if you guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 4, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 4.